What is going on guys? Tanner Flowers coming to you here. Good Tuesday morning. It's a little bit before 8 a.m. I have been asked by multiple people multiple times in the past multiple weeks. Tanner, when are you going to go live and show people how you're trading US 30? Tanner, when are you going to start doing your own Zoom calls? Well, I appreciate each of you asking me that, but uh, I hate to let any of you down. So I'm going to tell all of you right now. You hear me being open and upfront and honest telling you, guys, I'm getting lucky a whole lot. If you doubt any word of that, you are sadly mistaken, guys. I'm only six months into this endeavor. I'm a freaking rookie. You've probably been doing it longer than me. I didn't even know what Forex was in January of this year. I just found out after I've been trading US 30 for months what US 30 actually was just a handful of weeks ago. I never even looked it up. Top 30 things or whatever traded on the Dow Jones, whatever the Dow Jones is. You, you are listening to a guy right now that doesn't have a clue in, these, in the fucking world what the Dow Jones is. I don't know what the fucking Dow Jones is. Anyways, I've been talking about zones. You'll always hear me talking about price action. And you'll see me focusing on the 200-day moving average. Aside from that, I do not look at any other indicators. I have removed them from my trading life. I have removed all supposed gurus from my trading life. If you need to follow a guru in order to trade US 30 or any trading for that matter, me and you ain't the same. I was ridiculed, aggravated, poked fun of, Tanner, why don't you listen to these people? They're so good. Because I do not want to be handicapped by anyone. I do not want to be reliant nor dependent on anybody. I am an in <sighs> I'm as independent a motherfucker you ever want to meet in your life. I don't want nobody's help. Don't want your help. Don't need nobody's help. Ain't never been the guy trying to get around no groups. Ain't been the guy out here trying to make friends. Have been the last guy in the world that when everybody says, Tanner, you need to be out here networking. <laughs> I ain't looking to network. You hear me? I was told that a man can make more money in his Forex trading than any other endeavor he could participate in unless he was inheriting a bunch of money from a trust fund. I've been working my ass off underneath houses, inside crawl spaces for nearly 20 years, inside attics, you name it, on top of roofs, ladders, I make one wrong move, I fall, I'm dead, breathing all kinds of nasty shit, crawling through rat shit and piss, raccoon shit and piss, you name it guys, all the shit you can think of about never wanting to do in your life, that's what I did for 20 years. So whenever I hear some of you say, hey Tanner, I, I'd hate to sit there and sit at that computer like you've been sitting there all day for the past six months. Because let me tell you, I've been sitting here probably 10 plus hours a day for six months straight. <laughs> you don't want to do that? Well, keep on working your damn job. Keep on earning your living. Your modest living where you're getting by, where you're content, where you're comfy, where you're happy. Because see, that ain't me. I ain't trying to make a living. I already made my living. My living's been made. I am looking to make a fucking fortune. I've done over $120,000 profit in the past nine days of trading on a demo account. That's not real money. Don't let me sit here and try to make you think I'm acting like it is because I'm not. It's fake money. Ain't real at all. Don't mean shit. But what it does mean is that this boy right here has learned how to do that on his own accord without anyone's help. So if you want to know what I've been doing, if you want to see what I look at every day, I'm going to share a little bit of it with you right now. And if it uh, proves to be beneficial for you, great. That's what I'm hoping. And if it don't, I'm sorry. I ain't a trading expert. I ain't a guru. I don't even like them. Can't stand that word. But uh, if you like what you hear, well, stay tuned. I'll post some more here later on for you. Just let me know in the comments below if you like this video or this type of video. Now, let's get into these notes. Okay, guys, the time is currently 7.25 a.m. Tuesday morning, July the 19th. I was going to show you some things on my TV monitor. However, once I turned it on, all of those zones that I had drawn yesterday are no longer on my Carbon Capital screen. So, I will just resort to doing the screen recorder 
right here on my cell phone and try to cover a few things for you that will hopefully be beneficial now I'm not very familiar with the screen recorder option here so let me see if I can figure this thing out right now we are looking at the US 30 five minute live chart now if you will notice too, the right side of the screen highlighted with a green rectangle around it that is our ongoing price you see the 3127530 30. watch how that number will change every few seconds 31276 277 273 I'm not typically ever concerned with the numbers after the decimal point. I am typically only looking at the 272 in this uh, example right here that we are looking at. The 31272, 274. Yeah, I don't need to keep saying 31,000. We all see the 31,000. That's going to be for a long time likely. But focusing on those three points before the decimal point right there. Honestly, guys, I can even focus on the two numbers before that. I don't even care about the 200. You see what I'm saying? Look at that 76 right there before that decimal point. If you learn to sit there and focus on those two numbers right there before that decimal point, you'll be shocked at how much you can win on US 30. This price will always move within quarter increments. Meaning from 0 to 100, first point being 0, second 25, third 50, fourth 75, fifth the next 100 point. Do you understand what I'm saying to you here? If you will focus on those levels, whatever 100 point it's at, the next 25 up from it, the next 50, 75, and then the next 100 point, and it goes the same going down. Focus on those quarter points. Watch how often price gets in a battle at those points and will either find support or meet rejection at those points. So with that being held in mind, once you learn to locate your zones, and now let me see if I can put this on the 15 minute chart. Notice in the top left hand corner how we are now on the 15 minute chart on us 30 i've got a bunch of different colored lines going all over the screen some are at angles some are horizontal there's a yellow squiggly line going through the middle there that yellow squiggly line is the 200 day moving average once again the yellow line running like a snake up through the middle of the screen at an upwards angle currently is the 200 day moving average. The angled lines that you see that are a greenish color, you're gonna see one, two, three, four of those on the screen right now as I am talking. Those are different structure lines that I have documented here over the past week or so. The main one that we have just found resistance off of <clears throat> is a daily trend line, which if I go to the daily chart here, maybe you will be able to see it. Let me see here, daily chart. Let me zoom in a little bit so you can see where price is at. Notice, once again, over to the right-hand side, the 31,291. That is where price currently is, if you can follow that line. If you will see, <clears throat> Right there where it is wicking up to once again, that is a daily trend line going all the way back over here to, you can see where I've got it started right there at the beginning of those two bear candles up here right at the bottom of that zone, which is purple in color. The purple rectangle looks like it's about the second or third one from the top of the screen. So once again, I'm just letting you see that that is a Daily, structure line, trend line, whatever you want to call it, it's irrelevant to me. And now once we go back to the 15 minute chart, you can see a lot more clearly here. Look at how price has hung on to that structure line and then been rejected off of it for these past three candles. But the four before it, 
on the 15 minute chart <clears throat> clung right to that daily trend line. Now, moving forward here, 7.31 a.m., <clears throat> excuse me, is price going to be rejected off of that daily trend line or will it find support and break above to continue the upwards trend it has done for about the past 300 plus approximate pips since last night's consolidation period. If you will recall from yesterday's notes, I was in multiple buys. They were all in drawdown going to bed last night. I think I'd made, you know, close to two grand. Well, over the period of my sleep, they did come up and hit my TPs, aside from two actually, <clears throat> and one of those I closed out earlier this morning in profit. And then that top 0 0.50 hit like six something early this morning. And I have just been sitting here watching price ever since that point. Um, if we will take into consideration what I just said, if you will notice where price consolidated within that purple rectangle that I've got drawn right down there, look at all that consolidation last night. Look on the 15 minute chart, how it consolidated all along the 200 day moving average. That purple rectangle box that I drew around that consolidation period was actually a zone within a zone. That green zone, you'll see the green line right there at the top and the bottom of that consolidation period. Guys, that was a zone once again from the Sunday before last. You'll see the zone above that is noted in pink. Then we've got a purple zone above that, a green zone above that. Hopefully you guys are able to see all of that. So anytime, um, let me show you one more thing. If we go back to the five minute chart where I play mainly off of, let me see if I can find you an example. Notice at the crossing point of the 200 day moving average, as well as the crossing point of that four hour structure line towards the bottom where it did come out of that purple zone. Now I am referencing that point exactly where it crossed over the 200 day moving average. And if you will see here on the five minute chart, there was five consecutive bull candles, AKA green candles. Green candles are bull candles. Red candles are bear candles. Anytime you see five consecutive candles of either kind on the five minute chart, your radar should be focusing, guys. You are to be tuning in because there's a move coming. There's a correction coming of some sort or another. If you see six consecutive candles, seven consecutive candles, I have seen 12 consecutive candles before on the five minute chart, which is like a unicorn as far as I'm concerned. What I'm telling you is it's not going to be true every time, but start making mental note that whenever you see five consecutive candles in a row of either color, have your little trigger finger, <clears throat> have your little trigger finger ready to catch a reversal there. Hopefully. It may be just a small amount of pip sale. You may be at the top or the bottom and getting ready to catch a major move. But major moves will typically come whenever you see no price action to the left of the current price. Notice where price is right now on this five minute chart up there at that top point. We do not see a lot of price action to the left. However, if I go out to the 15 minute chart, look at all that price action that we see to the left. That's where the zones will come into play whenever you're doing your ongoing trades. Because if you were just looking at today's five minute chart right here, once again, it looks like it's wide open. Man, we're really stretched right now. We're not stretched at all, guys. We are not stretched at all. Where is the effing? Why are you not letting me get back? There it goes. Okay. Like I said, we're not stretched at all. If you go back to the... Um, Sorry, guys, I can't even get this mother effort to work. Going back to the four hour chart, look, guys, it is just testing the 200 day moving average now for the fourth time. You'll see a bear candle, 
a bull candle. It rose above the 200 day moving average, came back down, broke below it. Now it's came back up for the retest. Will it rise above? Will it fall? I do not know. I actually have no clue. However, hopefully these notes that I have discussed with you right now will prove to be a bit beneficial for you. Um, looks like it's wanting to come down and retest the 200 day moving average right now as we speak at 7.36 a.m. on the 15 minute chart. I will upload this video now and maybe it will prove to be beneficial for you guys going throughout your trading day today. Good luck to you all. I appreciate your time and we'll talk to you in the next one.